Hi guys, I'm super excited for today's video. I finished up finals and the end of semester for fall 2020. I'm so happy. Um, that was literally the worst semester ever. I've never worked so hard on my fucking classes and I got literally the worst grades ever. But I was also relieved, like the grades that I got were like so bad compared to any other semester, any other year, but I really worked hard for them, so like I'm proud of it. So I mean, it's fine. It was so fucking hard this year with COVID, with online stuff. And I think a lot of my professors cut us a lot of slack because I think they knew how difficult it was. And I think it was difficult for the professors as well, so. I'm so glad it's over. We're doing it, we're making it through. I'm on winter break right now, so I'm just trying to relax, enjoy my time. And one of the first things that I wanted to get done as soon as finals were over was cleaning my fucking room because my room became a disaster. I remember the day I finished my last final, which was an exam. I fucking got up and started cleaning and it looked awful. Like, I'm, I'll show you guys pictures. This is all from like the night of finishing that last final. I was like, holy shit, it's a disaster. It looks disgusting. Because for the two weeks prior, I literally didn't get out of bed to eat or anything. All I was doing was studying, working on projects, taking tests. I had to do two speeches, I had to do essays, I had to do PowerPoints, I had to do exams, like, oh my god, it was insane. And it was even harder because all this information was stuff I had learned online all year. It was hard, but we did it. I'm so happy. Um, so I'm proud of all of you for getting through it too because this was a very difficult time that no one could have expected, so. I think having a clean room means a clean mind, you know, like when I'm in a space that's organized, that I feel comfortable in, that represents me, because I want my room to represent who I am. I mean, when you look around someone's room, you could totally tell who they are in that aspect. I want my room to be fucking awesome. I'm gonna clean it up. It's gonna be great. The first step was cleaning. I really needed to get all the trash out. So I cleaned off my dresser, I cleaned off my makeup organizer, I wanted to clean everything. And then the next morning I woke up and just did, did the same thing. I started with my dresser and was using these sprays and cleaners to clean off the surface. So first I'm taking everything off, the candles and my makeup brushes, which I'm going to wash later. Um, I'm also going to clean my mirrors and do everything. So yeah, I'm spraying everything down and just taking it off as I go so that I could get a fresh clean surface. Um, even cleaning behind my mirror, you want to get every spot and throwing away all the trash as I go. Okay, I'm moving on to my mirrors and I actually have so many mirrors in my room. I have like this small circle one that I use for my makeup and then my other bigger ones that I have like on my wall um, or my, my huge one that I look at my outfit in. So yeah, I have a lot of different mirrors, but I'm going to be cleaning all of them with this cleaner and spray and towel so that I can get everything clean again. Um, I don't clean my mirrors often enough. Literally that's one thing like every time I look back on pictures I'm like fuck I should have cleaned my mirror because you could see all those spots in my outfits you know um anyway so yeah I'm cleaning it off I'm even cleaning like the border I painted this mirror so I don't want it to get all gross you know and cleaning every little detail you can't miss a spot So pretty much my whole dresser area is done. I'm moving over to the Alex 9 drawer that's right next to it now. And I use the top of the Alex 9 drawer to hold my jewelry and candles and decorations. But I'm going to be taking it all off, spraying it down and cleaning it. And then probably reorganizing it because I like to change this spot up a little bit when it gets too boring after a while. <laughs> I also ordered a jewelry organizer online, which you guys are going to see at the end of the video. But for now, just putting up this put jewelry hanger here on my wall so that I know that I'm still going to have some space to organize my jewelry. Because this little tray, I really like it, like this wooden and white one, except it's not really holding everything that I need it to. Um, I'm also cleaning off my sprays, my little wooden crate thing that I use, and setting all of my stuff back on. 
I'm throwing away trash as I go and then moving into my clothes. I have like three laundry baskets I have to go through and put away or donate them or do whatever. I want to make a whole video where I go through my closet. Um, but for now, I'm just stuffing shit in my drawer as usual um, to get everything just in a spot for right now. You know, I'll probably do more organizing later into like this section, but for everything else, I'm kind of resetting it up and th throwing stuff away. This shelf that I have up over my dresser and Alex and I enjoy is so cute. I'm putting in some Glossier products into this jar that I had before after cleaning it and just reorganizing it. Look how good it looks. It's, it's obviously not done, but like it looks so good so far. So the next section of my room that I wanted to work on is my bedside table. I don't even know how this bedside table got into my room, um, but I've had it in here for a while and it's super gross, so it's time to take it out. First, I'm taking everything off of it and I have a lot of stuff just piled on. Um, I have a new bedside table I'm going to be using and redoing, so yeah, I'm taking everything off. These are my disposable pictures that I'm showing you guys right now. Th just thought that was cool to show you. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of crap that I keep on there. So I'm taking it off and my room is looking pretty good so far. I kept my dirty dishes on it for a while that I collected throughout my room. <laughs> but I'm taking those off, heading to the garage and finding the wooden bedside table. This is it that I'm going to be cleaning up because uh, ew, it looks so bad when I started. But I cleaned it up, took a while. I also sanded it which took forever, but once I was finally done with that, I painted it and I decided to go with white. Look how much better it looks already. Um, I want to get some new knobs on it maybe. I think that would look super cute, but yeah, I spent the whole day working on this. Um, I even got to enjoy the sunset as I was doing this because it took the whole day. But finally, when it was done, I had this super cute bedside table. So I put it in my room, set my stuff back on it, and I think it looks super good and honestly fits in with my whole room. Something I've really been wanting is a rug next to my bed. So I told my mom about it and she told me I could have this one from our trailer. So I went in, stole it. Um, I love it. I'm obsessed. It's like such a cool rug. So I took that from our trailer and put it in my room. Here's me setting it up and I really like it. It's such a cool like pattern and the colors of it, especially with my hardwood floors. I feel like a rug ties everything together. So I warmed it up by walking on it a couple times and then I decided to make my bed because that was the next step. So I'm taking the sheets off, taking the pillowcases off my pillows, everything, and putting on new sheets and washing all of my blankets. I also had this sign up on my door through the semester telling my family to not come in because I had class in the morning so I could finally take that down and I'm finishing up my bed and this actually transforms your whole room when you make your bed like your room just comes together oh my gosh it looks so much better now so yeah I'm taking all of the dirty blankets and pillowcases to the laundry room so that I could wash those and my bed is done. So my room is already looking so much better. The next thing that I want to do is a couple DIYs because I really want to decorate my room a little bit. So I started with this light switch. You guys have probably seen, like I've painted my light switch cover a few times, but I wanted to do a cool design. So I drew this out with pencil, just random shit. I don't know. I didn't really have a plan. I kind of just drew whatever came to my mind. So I drew some mushrooms, some flowers, some eyes and then colored it in with my paint pens that I got from Amazon. I'm obsessed with these. Um, and then lastly, when I was done, I coated it with Mod Podge so that it would all stay in place. And I put the light switch cover over my light and it looks so much cooler now. Yeah, so I like how it came out. I think it brings a lot of color into my room and it looks super cute. The next DIY I really wanted to try were these hanging CDs that I've seen on TikTok and Pinterest. People hang them on their ceiling or from their wall. You get to draw whatever you want on them, so I thought they were super cute and a fun way to decorate. So I made this little TikTok to show you guys how I made them. I bought the CDs from Amazon and then used the tape to rip it off and make them clear. This is so fun. So I'm going through these CDs. I'm removing the cool part. So watch how satisfying it is.
So when all the CDs were clear, I finally sat down and painted them with all of my paint pens. I had so much fun coming up with new designs and trying to find fun stuff to paint on them. I wanted to use tons of different colors and make them all different. And then I went to the craft store and got this like clear string in case I wanted to hang them. I think it'd be cool to hang them from my ceiling, but I also think it'd be cool to put them directly on my wall. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I have all the stuff ready, so... Yeah, you guys will see how I end up decorating with those when I do my room tour, which is going to be one of my upcoming videos once I finish my room. I have a couple more things to add to my walls, which I'm so excited to show you. I ordered like posters, I ordered a bunch of different things, and then I also made a lot of art to put up, which I'm going to show you guys in that video too. So yeah, everything will be finished by then, but I got pretty much everything I could get done, like cleaning wise, organizing wise here in this video so yeah and that's pretty much it i love how my room came out so excited to keep adding to it and i'm super excited for it to be finished because once it is i'm gonna do that room tour and you guys could see these two walls and everything come together you know because it looks good but i need to finish it up i want to get my mini fridge cleaned out and put my food in there whatever i want i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later